Hi, welcome to my shop. Uh, welcome to this vlog. What I'm going to be working on today is a blaster for my Mandalorian cosplay build. So, see right over here, I have uh, my Mandalorian cosplay build that I've uh, been working on, I don't know, for probably a few months now. And the majority of it is complete. And I actually already have a blaster, which is um, just a Nerf gun that I modified slightly and repainted. But it's kind of big, it's kind of bulky, there are some things I don't like about it. Um, and so I thought, you know, it might be nice to have a blaster that actually exists within the Star Wars universe, or at least fits a little bit better. I decided to order some 3D printed blasters from Etsy. I've never done any work with any 3D printing myself, nor have I finished and painted any 3D printed props of any sort. So this is a first for me. I'm going to go ahead and get started on it. And it is Leia's blaster from A New Hope. It's the X30 blaster. Come, comes in pieces. I think that'll be the finished blaster. Uh, but right now it's just a, a box of parts here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. Yeah, already that's a fair bit smoother. There we go. Um, yeah, it's not perfectly smooth, but quite a bit smoother. Maybe we'll work on it a little bit more. Maybe not, we'll see. All right, so never having really done um, any work with 3D prints before, I'm not 100% sure kind of what the order of outer the order of operations is but with these two pieces I can see there are some things that are gonna be way easier to sand and remove before I glue it together I want to jump in here with a file or a knife or sandpaper or something and take the little ridge out of the bottom of this groove and along this back so that the barrel will sit down in there nicely I think the same here probably be easier to take care of now versus once it's glued up, because then that's gonna be down in a hollow and yeah. Yeah, that looks real nice. That slides in there without anything kind of bumping along it. Can butt right up tight to the back. I think we're good there. Okay, that feels like it's pretty well set and in place. So there's our first glue up. All right. I'm working on sanding these and because I'm using these sanders, which are like a foam sander, they're soft. So you can kind of squish into them a little bit. And as I'm sanding this, I think what is happening is there's enough given this that I'm actually kind of rounding out this surface. And I really want the surface of these two pieces to be perfectly flat and mate together when I glue. And right now, there's a, a bit of wobble in every direction as I try to sand this surface smooth. So we'll throw some sandpaper on the, the bench, I think. If, oof, I really rounded this out. I don't know if I can get that up there, if you can see. Yeah, how much of a belly there is to that. Ooh, oops. Um, I might just glue this up and then rely on the Bondo filler, but it's gonna be a huge pain because it's like bridged with all of these fins. So Bondo is gonna wanna fill all of those. I'm gonna have to like mold in those things. Oops. All right, so I really thought uh, sandpaper and files were gonna be the way to go cleaning this up, but I'm finding um, a good sharp knife is actually way nicer. So, yeah, knife, woohoo, stubbier. I might cut some length off of this. Now I just have to decide how much. I think that right there looks pretty good. 
So I'm going to make a mark here. And see if I can get a nice square cut on this. Do my best. Hey, that looks pretty good. I uh, don't see too much of a gap anywhere, so happy with that. Let's go with that. Okay, so I don't want this barrel to get um, all out of line with each of these pieces as I am sanding the ends here. I want to make sure that they're staying square to the cylinder shape of the barrel so that my barrel doesn't start going like this as we glue pieces together. Um, to do that, I think I'm going to sand the end, set it on the bench, and then just use a little square here push it up on the sides and see what it looks like um, because yeah that's not super square and then I could come over to my sandpaper and make minute uh, adjustments here to try to get this square all right I think my pieces are looking pretty square um, I'll probably glue up these pieces. The rest, I think I want to wait, get my Bondo on, and do some sanding before I glue them up, because it's going to be easier that way. Alright, so I just used the Bondo glazing and spot putty, and kind of filled in all the areas on this that I think should be smooth and some of the areas that probably shouldn't be. Um, there's this kind of like roller bit on the back here which I'm assuming is supposed to be textured. There are some uh, grooves here along the side that I got some putty in. So now I'm just going back with a little sculpting tool uh, and trying to scrape the putty out of those areas before it completely dries. And then we'll give this, I think it says 15 minutes I can start sanding. So 15 minutes. We'll start sanding. All right, I uh, bondoed and sanded everything, and uh, yeah, that was a fair bit of work. I hear people in the cosplay community talk about um, the dread of bondo and sanding 3D printed objects. And I, I get it now. Yeah, that's it's a fair bit. And I'm still, I have a feeling I probably should bondo and sand this at least one, maybe two more times. I feel like there's still going to be a fair bit of texture in there. But, um, I don't know. This is my first time doing anything with 3D prints, as I've mentioned previously. So, I'm just going to move forward and go ahead and glue this the rest of the way up. So, let's Uh, the blaster is all glued up and bondoed enough that I'm going to try to hit it with some primer and see kind of what it looks like. I might end up going back and doing some more bondoing, some more sanding, <clears throat> depending on what the texture looks like. Alright, so I got the... Uh, blaster all assembled and primed it and the prime showed me some imperfections um, some areas that were just really uneven so I just did some sanding touch up an area here and here um, I did some sanding on these fins they really had a lot of stuff in there I think they still do but it's getting better and then I also realized that the handle let's see if this will focus has a little a badge right there which um, that alphabet I don't think actually exists in the Star Wars universe, so uh, I'm going to remove that A, which I've done on this side. And I did that simply by taking my knife, and I'm just going to carefully kind of shave away thin slices of this A. There we are. Until it's right down 
basically flat to that badge. All right, I think we're pretty close to flush. So now I'm just gonna grab a file and clean that up after I see what my son needs. All right, and um, now there we go. That A has been removed from both sides. All right, so we're back in the shop. Uh, so far we have cleaned up our 3D print, bondoed it, sanded it, assembled it, did some more bondoing, some more sanding, um, then primed it, did some more sanding, some more bondo, and primed again. Um, it sounds like a lot, but really I've probably only put four hours into this so far. Uh, and here we are, I think it's looking pretty good and we are ready to move on to paint. So let's paint. So there we are. Looks pretty good just being black. <clears throat> Could probably call this good if you really wanted to. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a little bit of painting on this, paint some silver details, accents, um, and then do some washes to give it a little bit of an age. And then we'll probably spray it one more time with Mod Podge just to seal everything up, make it nice and durable. All right, so I think I've got most of my silver painting done. Um, and for Leia's X30 blaster, hers is all black, um, as far as I can tell. But since this isn't for a Leia cosplay, I went ahead and took the liberty of adding some more silver details just to give it a little more visual interest, more detail than just straight black. So now I'm going to do some washes. Um, I think I'm going to probably do like a dark brown black wash as well as a light sandy wash. All right, so with one coat of wash that is already looking uh, much nicer. It did kind of matte and bring down the sheen of all of the black, which is nice. It gives it more of a flat look versus this side is still much more glossy. Um, and it's filled into those creases. Might be kind of hard to see on camera, but it definitely does give a little bit of definition. And like I said, when we use the lighter color wash, it's going to um, make that even more pronounced. So one thing that it did start to do though, is I started to rub off my silver paint. So I'm gonna go back and touch up that silver paint. Then I think I'm going to seal the whole gun with some Mod, Mod Podge uh, spray so that it's a little more durable and then I'll keep doing my washes because I don't want to rub through my paint. Which is okay, so I did all my touch up paint, uh, did some weathering, some distressing, some washes and sealed it with uh, Mod Podge and it could be done. This is everything I intended to do to this blaster, but I'm now thinking that I want to paint the hand grips brown. I just think it'll give it more of that outlaw gunslinger aesthetic. All right, so this is obviously going to need another coat or two, um, but yeah, I think that brown hand grip looks really good on there um, compared to the black. Okay, so yeah, I'm loving uh, the brown grips on this. They look great. The one thing is, is they look, you know, pretty perfect. There's no, uh, dirt or grime or wear on those, so now I will be re-weathering 
and re-washing this so that the hand grips match the body. Alright, let's see if you can see some of the details in there, maybe, if it focuses. Uh, so now <clears throat> I just added a light sand color wash to it and we just get some some grit some grime down in all the creases and crevices just helps it to make helps to make it look a little more authentic all right so i just went back and hit it with a real light coat of mod podge you can never pronounce that just to seal in the brown paint that we did on the handles and all the little extra details in that extra light colored sand wash and I think I'm gonna call it good on this project. Yeah, there it is. Pretty happy with it. Um, really happy with it, actually. I think this is definitely going to replace my old blaster. I just think uh, this looks a bit toyish to me. Um, whereas this, I think, looks much more realistic. All right, so that concludes this build on the X-30 blaster from Star Wars, most notably carried by Princess Leia Organa in A New Hope. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Let me know in the comments and consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I release my next video making a custom holster for our new blaster. Thanks again for watching, enjoy your day, and may the force be with you.